Hi, right, we got a, just about everyone here representing the different groups. What I'd like to do is Quiet. work what we call French showers. I remember we were falling behind the schedule, and I thought I'd suggest something new to the Brazilian crew, which is called French showers. That means the food is actually brought to you, so you don't have to stop and lose an hour, hour and a half for lunch. But the majority of the workers that are not working on that particular spot would go eat, and it would be just the same, just normal. And the reward would be that we would work at the most 10 and a half hours a day, instead of 12 hours and lose that momentum. This is what we did on Rambo, and that's why I think the film has such energy. And I'd like to do that here. I know it's unusual for Brazil, but I think you would be happy well, if we tried it for one week. And if you don't like it, we don't do it. Obviously, it didn't go over well. Maybe there's a translation problem, but <laughs> I failed miserably. Uh, guys, no pressure. This has to be perfect on the first take. On action, you start to look at the plane. Then you stay there until I say, hey! And then you turn around, you get blasted. Action. Play! Hey! Hey! Pow, 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 pow. Shoot those four guys. Then I go, what? And he's trying to pull his piss off. He gets it right here. And then I'm looking at him like that. I go, and I repeat a line from earlier in the day. He said to me, you look nervous. Now I go, you look nervous. And right then, he starts to, just a loop, that's it. All right. Pow, pow. Hey! You look nervous. You know, it never ceases to amaze me that when you get to a location, it's never quite the way you see it in your eye. You can go there before you film, and it looks kind of quiet and sterile, but then you get there, and you see this, the set, and you see the possibilities. But when it gets right down to it, it's about the character's dilemma and trying to find the inner workings of the men themselves that will make it identifiable and uh, keep the storyline going and not get so hung up on the actual physicalities of the location. I'm gone. I've given up on life. You still have hope. You still are romantic. Yeah. And I have to get mine back. You mean the tall guy? We got gear. No, that's fine. Actually, the hairier, the meaner, the better. We were casting soldiers for the dictator's army, and when I went down there, the, all I saw were male models, basically, you know, the attack of the male model here. Then I thought, wow, Brazil is the hub of mixed martial arts fighting. Yeah, I have a gym that in, uh, in yeah. Recreo, it's uh, nearby here, and uh, we, ha we, we make a fight every month over there. So you can make one for us? For sure. Okay, for sure. we'll be there. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Thanks for coming. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. It's not meeting Elvis Presley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there are lots of them. <laughs> it's the first time we've been to Brazil, and I, again, I'm honored to be in the presence of such legendary fighters. When you see two guys in the room going at each other, it's reminiscent of ancient Rome. These men are down there fighting just for the sense of fighting. They're there to entertain us, but they're really not. They're doing something that is just so uh, important to them. What person has the real will to overcome something that they don't think they can do, that they're actually afraid of? You know, it's, it's will over skill. They swallow their fear and dig down deep, and in the end, it's their heart that proves victorious, much more than muscles. I would kick his ass, but I'm gonna say anything. So 
all these powerful MMA fighters volunteered to be in the film, it changed the whole casting process. It may not seem like much on the surface, but when the camera goes by, it senses that these men can do great harm, that they're not just actors, they're the real deal. And getting real faces, faces that have pathos in them and have some truth in them, is very, very important in supporting the star. It's the complete picture, it's the concept. You're only as good as your support group and your surrounding. And once that all melds together, you have a truthful picture in a, in a, a realistic situation. On action, Steve gets out. He comes out and goes, move that goddamn truck, like that. These guys start to come out. That truck, I don't want to block this easy. The nose of the truck has got to come here. I mean, run it into the curb, I don't care. You'll stay here, and then Steve will say, get back in, when the truck is there. And as soon as he goes, back. And we'll sign a couple of Okay, and then we're going to follow one camera. He's following the two giants, OK? OK. One is on him, and then the other one stays on the car. OK, we'll come around the boat. And then we go along the boat. And this one here just carries you all the way to your duck in, and the truck's all going by. Everybody go okay. that way. Here we go. 